Hello everyone, this is First Lady Campbell from Bruton Church of God Pentecostal and today I would like to talk to you for a short while about a topic of how to praise in time of trouble. And first of all, I would like to talk to those that seek in the Lord and who doesn't have a relationship with the Lord and how the Lord loves you and he want you to seek him and turn from your way into his way. And I just encourage you today, if you don't know him in a pardon of your sins, just turn to him and he will turn to you. And he um, would love for you to have a deep relationship with him. But my topic is how to praise in time of trouble. For me, I began to think about, as I thought about this topic, 2 Timothy 3 and 1, it said, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. What time are you talking about, Sister Campbell? These are dangerous times that we're living in. We're in it and everything is going on. But, Sister Campbell, as a woman of God, I have to continue to praise him in times of trouble. And as I thought about this topic, the scripture that really comes into my mind is Psalms 34 and 35. Where it says, I will, and this is personal from Sister Campbell, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Amen. And I just want to horn in on all times. And as I think about all times, are, um, is all time good times? No, it's not. So what I have to do as a woman of God, amen, I have to continue to praise him, continue to reflect on him, regardless of the situation, regardless of the circumstance, I got to give him the praise. One of the things that I always say, and you catch me when things are not going the way I plan for it to go. One of my favorite little saying is to God be the glory. And it is to God be the glory because what's over my head is under God's feet. So I'm going to bless him at all times because in good times and bad times, you yet have to praise him and give him the praise. Amen. And as I begin to think about it, um, second Corinthians, Chronicles 10 and 5 said, casting down imaginations in every high thing that exalt itself against the knowledge of God. So Satan will bring things to your mind. He'll try and tell you this, you're not that, you're not this, but I have to cast those imagination down because what am I to do is what my topics express. I will bless the Lord at all times. So it goes to show that everything is not going to go the way Sister Campbell want it to go. But I'm yet going to praise him because he is worthy of all our praise and our honor and the glory. And um, another song, Psalms 9 and 1 says, I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. So how many part, what part of my heart is missing when it's a whole heart? None. So that means everything I got, I have to yet praise him. I'm encouraging you, whatever you have, you yet praise him in the midst of whatever. Because as we talked about, we are in trouble times where so much is going on and i'm not going to go into that because it's a lot of things that's going on we'll hold that for another topic amen and how we have to praise him with our whole heart and it says and i will show forth all thy marvelous works amen and how he have shown us all of his 
marvelous work. And those are the same things that we are supposed to express. Amen. We are supposed to let our light shine before men that they can see um, him and glorify the Lord. Amen. And how if we walking around with our head held down, then what are they going to have to look forward to? What example are we going to set? So today I encourage you with all, all your heart to praise him at all times and let his praises continually be in um, our mouth. So I just want to encourage you um, during this convocation to continue to bless the Lord. Continue to praise him in at all times. Not just when trouble rises, but at all times. So I pray that you continue to seek the Lord as ever before. Continue to stay with the Lord. Stay faithful until he come. So I pray that you have a blessed day in the name of Jesus. This is Sister Mary Campbell from Church of the God.